Never, ever let your parents book you to do stand-up comedy for their event. Never. My dad booked me for a gig in Yonkers, New York at the Polar Center for a biker gang fundraiser on a Sunday afternoon. That's when comedy's always the best. And my dad's like a cop and I'm scared of him. So I was like, all right. I remember walking in, there was a whole bunch of bikes lined up. So I'm already getting scared, sweating like, man, I don't know they gonna laugh, I don't know. And everybody's mingling, mostly everybody's on the dance floor. Imagine if all our parents joined Sons of Anarchy. That's how they look. Then your mother got her pocketbook, but she got her Hell Angels jacket on. Dad got like braces on his knees, but you know, he got his vest on and shit. Y'all look too old to still be doing this. But no offense to them. <laughs> and they'll come after me. <laughs> I was standing on the side while everybody was dancing and I believe Earth, Wind and Fire was playing. The DJ sees me and he's like, oh shit, you about to do this now. Didn't give me no warning, just went up to his DJ booth like, all right, y'all, it's time for stand up. Here's Nori Davis. And they cut Earth, Wind and Fire September right in the middle. What? Now? Nigga, like, I just got here. Like, let me pee. The bikers on the dance floor are just like, Arr! you ever play a movie and you hit pause? That's what every biker look like. It's just freeze framing. Hands locked. A dude has his hands locked just looking up at the stage like, the fuck is this right now? I'm dancing to September. Everybody looked at me like I killed Earth, Wind and Fire. Like I murdered them. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, just do your first joke that's been working all the time. Hey man, yeah, college is crazy. College is a scam. <laughs> college is a scam, right? And they just looking at me. My dad looks at me too, like, yeah, he, need, he needs to quit and get a job. It's the type of bond where they just look at you. Like people think black people always like, boo, get the fuck off the stage. No, they give you the type of look that just. That, and they just stare at you. Get the fuck off, like it's telekinesis. I still think one of the smartest things I ever did in my career was just like, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> DJ, play the music back. And I put the mic in the mic stand. I literally told one joke and then I left. The bikers just went back to dancing like I was the worst commercial break ever. And then I got out of there. After that, my dad never recommended me for any stand-up shows, which is great. And he told me a story where a lot of his friends keep asking for me to perform at his event. Why don't you get your son to do this? And he was like, hell no, so y'all can sit there and not laugh? His comedy is not for you. That warmed my heart. He knows me. He finally knows me.